Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, December 26, 2018. So we finally found some bulls that were willing to buy. Um, I had sent out a trade alert that I was uh, going to be getting long at the 23.58 and the reason why was I had mentioned uh, when we, we started coming down to these support levels that if they did not hold we were probably coming down to the 200 day moving average on the on the weekly chart and that's pretty much exactly what we did we had a pretty good uh, pretty decent little gap up today gave way and that was really what i think the flush out where everybody was giving up on it i think they gave up on monday but anybody that was, uh, you know, once we had the bounce up in the morning and then started coming down, I, I think everybody just was jumping on the, uh, you know, on the crash wagon. And, uh, you know, it, as much as this has been a very, very difficult uh, decline to uh, manage, it, it's the majority is always going to end up doing the wrong thing at the exact wrong time. And I had mentioned, you know, over the uh, Christmas dinner um, that I was talking to somebody that's been a money manager for 45 years and you know he was telling me that this is the worst that he's ever seen the market and you know I, I kind of looked at him and said we went through this entire thing when the we had the financial crisis uh, you know we, we had this conversation and I, to me it it doesn't seem anything like that at all and you know to me I'm looking at asking what's the reason why we had this drop was it the government shutdown no i don't think that has anything to do with it fed raising rates they they we knew they were going to be raising rates it's it shouldn't be that much of a surprise we know that some money was unwinding from the uh you know the central banks that have been tightening some so that the natural reaction is there's going to be less liquidity in the market and from that we are going to get our pullback and volatility was going to pick up and that we don't see that changing at all and uh, like what he put out in the uh, in that little update that you know if you're you're looking for a long-term position then you don't look to buy until the 2022 time period but there's going to be trades within that bigger position and like i said i was you know i was i tried a long time a few times of long side a few times i i got stopped out this one we came down to a target and then at, at the 23.58 is where i just said i'm gonna you know take another uh stab at the long side for the reasons that we we've just we you don't get zero percent uh bullish readings uh a, a series of them without seeing a significant bounce because like i said the once we get the bounce what is going to happen is everybody that's been is sweating out this big drop they're going to sell on this bounce and everybody that missed the big drop on the short side is going to short it so i don't think we're done yet um i i don't believe that we're we're done with the downside but i do believe that we could see the s p trading somewhere up into the 2700s if not a little bit higher than that and you know like i said the few trades that i got stopped out at i mean it, there was nothing fun about it but this is what i was expecting some type of low that's going to sit there and go i didn't you know like i said uh, from when we were here and and we were looking for the low i i didn't expect the 2348 to come into play until after the next top date but this is what happened so um, I had one or two choices to make. One was either, you know, follow the herd where everybody was just looking to sell or you, you stick with, you know, where these extreme sent bear sentiment readings that have been uh, pegged for the last uh, two weeks are going to come into play and it's going to force people to be on the wrong side and what happens instead of looking to panic sell you look to a place to buy and this was a spot and when it held that's why i took my long position so bigger picture uh I don't believe this is the low uh, on an intermediate term. I do believe it's the low, and I believe that we're going to be trading someplace up between the 2750. We could get up into the 2800 range, but right now, if we get up to 2600, uh, it, it's a it, 20, it's 150 point gain on it. Uh, so it actually 250 point gain. So it's one of those things that it's. Uh, it, you know, I, I have zero issues with just, you know, if I, if it gets up there, uh, just to, 
to step out and wait and see what plays out or just put a stop in place and ride it out until we you know until we get stopped out but we know we have some time on our hands right now uh as far as for a bull friendly move we know that nobody's really going to believe this move um because they've been trained to uh to to short rallies and they've been right trust me don't don't think that I'm, I'm mocking it. They've been absolutely right. But the thing is, just like when we were melting up here and uh, nobody thought this market was going to decline, when we get the big decline, everybody got washed out. And then when we made the new highs, everybody got bullish again. So when we started dropping, everybody kept buying this this dip here because they missed this entire move. The same thing is going to happen with this move on the downside. As we're bouncing, everybody's going to short it. And that's why I'm saying don't be surprised to see us trading up into the 2800 range because then everybody that's extremely bearish on the market is going to be bullish on the market. And then once that happens, it's probably going to be coming right into the top date. And then from there, we'll be positioning it on the short side because as you can see, we don't have any bullish divergences. So most likely these are not the lows. And we'll be heading down someplace into the 23, 24, or even lower than that. And these are some of the targets that I put when we were up here and we started to drop. So being we already took through, took out the 2400, seeing this wave four come someplace down into the 2070 area would make perfect sense. But before that happens, I'm anticipating that they're going to get all these bearish people, wipe them out, and then from there that's when we start this drop and and the, you know being that volatility is here and it's increasing and we're seeing fear run on fear uh we're going to get these massive moves and and it, it's like i said that the past uh, few days have been tough because we are in uh what we were looking at as the bull friendly time period and the you know the bulls just weren't there to step in and buy but once we found that support at the 200 day moving average we did see buying step in and that that's what triggered you know me to, to take a long position and now we manage it and you know if we get a pullback we wait for the next buy trigger you can add to it but i i still think that we're we're heading up to these levels and it will probably be coming in right when that when the next top date is coming and like i said everybody's going to be bullish on the market again just like everybody Everybody was bullish on the market here everybody was bearish here bullish again and then bearish and then bullish and now we're back down to bullish again uh, bearish so we, we're gonna have this time and and as long as we know that the majority are bearish which we do know um, I haven't seen a series of zero percent bullish readings in a long time and typically when that happens you get these massive moves to the upside and that's really what I'm trying what I was trying to position myself from here and got stopped out but now you know i'm long here and um uh, i'm gonna you know I, I believe that there's some more room to the upside and we're gonna manage this trade so let's take a look at what uh what the bulls have to do here uh so right now if they continue higher tomorrow uh the first resistance is going to be 2487 uh above that this is where i believe this is the little bit more heavy resistance so that's going to be at the 2500 so again it, it's a decision that you're you know you, you want to make uh we're, we're in at uh, 2358 you have a you know 150 point move you can figure out what you want to do but if we get up to these levels and then get a quick pullback down to the 2439 you can see how they're going to be making a possible inverted head and shoulders pattern where this is going to be the left shoulder this is the head we come up to this level drop back down makes the right shoulder and then from here uh, you know we're, we're looking at, at a, a a target someplace up into the 2700 so uh, pattern wise it's looking higher um, we're getting a little bit overbought right now but the way that I would see this happening is we get a little bit of a pullback and then back up again and then from there that's when I believe that we'll get the pullback down to the 2440 level um, I think that if we, we see the bulls if they don't hold this 23 six, let, let's just say that the 2394 and then more importantly the 2369 level Level, that's when we're going to say that this may have just been just a short squeeze and it's over but as long as they hold these levels and make higher highs and higher lows uh, like I said, I, I believe that we're heading someplace up into this 2500 level. We could even go up to the 2533. 
and um, and then from there we'll get a little bit of a breather and um, like I said I, I still think there's room to go uh, we have time on our hands right now we have a pattern that's possibly playing out to the upside we know sentiment is extremely extremely at bearish sentiment readings and right now um, we have to just see what what um, happens next and I believe that as long as some support levels hold we're gonna see this market continue higher into the ne next update and then uh, up a top date and then once that comes most likely we're going to see 100% bullish readings and that's going to be time to short the market so with that let's see what plays out tomorrow have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning